Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can pass the dynamic data in the body of a request. So as you can see here, we have a post request and in the post request, we have hard coded the JSON body. Now in Catalon Studio, there is a concept of variables using which you can pass the dynamic data in the body of the request. So let us see how it is done. So first I'm going to create one more web service request of type post. The HTTP method is post and this is the URL. We need to specify the header. The first one is the accept header and the value is application slash JSON. The next header is content type and the value of this header is application slash JSON. I will take this entire body and specify in the HTTP body tab and save it. So first of all, I'm going to create a variable and use that variable inside the body. So let's say the variable name is unique underscore ID. The type is number and default value is one. And I'm going to use this variable inside the HTTP body. So in order to use the variable, you need to use this expression that is dollar open and close curly braces and the name of the variable. In the web service request, you can use the variable either with the request URL in the query parameter or with the body also. So during the runtime, the value of this variable will be replaced by the actual value. So this is how the flow will work. We are going to first create a test script. This will be our test case. Inside this test case, I will have a local variable. This variable is going to generate the random value. Then we have our web service request. This test case is going to call this web service request. Inside this web service request, we have one more local variable, which is for the ID. And the ID variable is being used inside the HTTP body. So during the runtime, using the local variable, I will generate the random value and that random value will be passed to the ID variable. And then that variable value will be passed to the HTTP body. So this is how the flow works. So let us create one more test script. And then I will create a local variable. Type is number and default value is one. Then I will add the keyword that is send request and select our web service request. Now let me switch to the script mode. So as you can see here, Catalon Studio automatically generate the code for me. And this is how the variable in the web service request is being passed. So you have a find test object method. The first parameter is the name of web service request. And second is the map data structure where the variable name and its value is being passed. So now I'm going to generate the random value for our local variable. Variable name equal to, in order to generate the random value, I will use a class from the Java language. The name of the class is math. So inside this class, there is a method named random, which generate the random number. If you look at the return type of this method, the return type is double, but we are expecting the number that is the integer value. So I'm going to typecast the return of this method to the integer type. I'm going to multiply with the factor 100. So this is for generating the random number between one to 100. And then I'm going to typecast this entire expression into the int data type. And then I will pass this variable here. Now, if you look at the return type of this method, the return type of this method is of type response object. So I will create one more variable which will capture the response of this request.
and in order to make sure that our request is successful i'm going to add the assertion on the status code so assertions dot assert that response dot get status code is equal to 200 so once i have the response i need to extract the id and do the assertion that whatever the id we have passed that id is being used to create the record so let us go back to our web service request for time being i'm going to hard code the id as to and then send the request so as you can see here the response we are getting is in the json format so we need to pass this json response and extract the property that is id to pass the json response i'm going to use a library which is coming from the groovy framework that is the json slurper So this is a library which is coming from the Groovy framework and using this library, you can parse the JSON response. So inside the class that is JSON Slurper, there is a method called parse text using which you can parse the response. So parser.parse text and here we need to specify our JSON response. So for that, I will use our response object. So after parsing the JSON response, I'm going to store that in a variable. And then I'm going to extract the ID. So response after parsing dot the name of the property, which is ID. And let me change it back to the variable. So let me store this in a variable. and then add the assertion assertions dot assert that actual id is equal to test id After this, let me also print the response body at the console. So we will know that what is the random ID which was passed as a part of the request body. Now let me run this. So our test script is passing. Let us go to the console tab and see what is the value for ID. So the ID value was 65. Let me rerun it again. And in the console, let me check the ID. So this time the ID value is 82. Also, let me send the request via Postman to see that the record has been added or not. So this is the record with the ID 65 and this is the record with the ID 82. So this is one approach where you're passing the dynamic data for one of the property in the request body. Assume that you want to pass the entire request body as a dynamic. So let's see how it is done. So first I'm going to create one more web service request.
so this is the URL and the method is post so after this we need to specify the body but before that let me create a variable and the name of the variable is request body the type is a string and default value is empty string and I'm going to use this variable as a body so let me create one more test and I'm going to use this particular web service request in that test so add the web service keyword send request and in the object select the web service request switch to the script mode so here I'm going to create a variable that will have the body and that variable will be passed over here and then I'm going to pass this variable over here also let me update the value of id instead of hard coding it to 10 i'm going to generate a random value for the id and let me add this variable under our variables tab and use this test id here So as we know that the return type of this method is response object so I will create a variable of type response object to capture the response and after that I will add the assertion on this status code So during the runtime, uh, the body which we create inside our test case will be passed to the variable and that variable will be used inside the web service request. So let me run this script. Okay, so our test script is failing and the reason for the failure is we are expecting status code as 200, but we are getting 500. So let us see our web service request. Okay, so the mistake is over here the content type should be application slash json and let me rerun it so now our test script is passing so let me print the body and let me rerun the script So ID is 12. Let me send the request in the postman. So we should be having one entry with ID as 12. So this is the entry. So this is how using the concept of variables, you can pass the dynamic data in the request body.